welcome back. Max action. Max reaction. Max action. Yeah, welcome back. Max action. So, are you having a good day today, Hunter? Yeah. Why are you having a good day? Uh, we got my here at work. Cause you, we just got mommy from work. Yes. Well, that's a good day when you get to see your mommy, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, what did you do today? Uh, one day. What did you do today? Okay, I don't know. You don't know. I know. Did you eat potatoes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna react to Philippine a folk story. A story? Yeah. Here, let's put that down so you can talk. You ready to react to the myth of the tides? Yes. Do you know what the tides are? The tides are. Look at them and tell them. What's the tides? I don't know. It's the ocean. Ocean? How, how it moves up well, on the land and I back land? off the land. Up the land? Yes, by the ocean. Do you remember the ocean? Yeah, the we just, ocean. We just visited the ocean, didn't we? The Gulf yeah. of Mexico. Yeah. Remember the big scary waves? Scary waves? What did you see on the beach? Uh, waves. They were crawling. What did you see on the Crawl beach? Crabs. Crabs. Yeah, we caught crabs, didn't we? Yeah. All right. Well, let's check out the the folk tale, should we? Shall we? Yeah. Let's see what we can learn. You ready? Yeah. You know what's on the screen? That's the Philippine mm. Islands. Islands. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. The Philippines is an archipelago. The sea is very important to Filipinos. Filipinos. Fisher folk communities yes. dot the shores of the many islands in this country. Needless to say, to fishermen. Considering finicky weather and the changing tides are necessary as they set out from shore. Absolutely. Absolutely. Appreciation for the tides was also sensationalized in local pop culture in the 90s when, in a beauty pageant, Miss Philippines was asked, Just how many islands do you have here? <laughs> and she very cleverly answered, High tide or low tide? That's a smart <laughs> answer because I, I've heard when high tide comes up, Islands disappear. The low islands, they islands just disappear. Disappear? Is that spooky? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not spooky. It's not spooky. No. Here, let's see what let's see what they say. It is no surprise then that many folk stories about the shifting tides developed around the country. Today we look at one of these tales, which okay. just happens to be a love story. Yeah, it comes from the far north, from the Ibanag people that live in the Cagayan, Isabella and Nueva Vizcaya provinces. Cool. Cool. It is said that long ago, there were no humans around, only gods. These gods divided the world into three realms. The sky, the sky? sea, sea, and the, land. the earth. Land. To preserve balance... So we have sky, sky, which is up there where the airplanes are, right? Okay, yeah. We got the sea where water is. Sea, water is? And we got land where our house is on. It's house. dirt. Dirt? Yeah. yeah. So sky, Go land, and dirt. Land. Dirt. The gods separated them. Yeah. The world. There were rules these gods had to follow. A Among lot these of rules them. was gods from different realms That's were not allowed to socialize with each other it. and go into each other's realms. Just imagine, for example, the sun skipping around the earth or taking a dip in the sea. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't, would it? That's now, speaking water. of the sun, he ruled the sky yeah, realm that's and fishy. had a very lovely daughter named Luna. Yes. The moon. Moon? It's a moon. Name Luna. Can you say Luna? Luna. Luna on the moon. Luna, Luna on the moon? Yes. Yeah. Let's Luna. see what she does. Does? An adventurous girl, Luna liked riding her silver chariot across the sky, enjoying the sights of the clouds and the heavens. Clouds? Yeah. One day, though, oh, no. she took an unexpected detour and ended up near where the horizon, where the sky where met the that? sea. Ooh. There, what? Luna saw the waves dancing beneath her chariot and dolphins breaking the ocean's surface. What is that? Dolphins. She wondered, too, dolphins how the sea see? could have so many different shades oh, of blue at the same time. See. In her realm, the, the sky was light in the morning <sighs> and dark at night. None? But beneath her, the sea swayed in many different colors yeah. of blue and sea green, Pretty. all at the Pretty. same time. Pretty. Pretty. It's the waves. Morning. As she was busy looking around the unfamiliar yet beautiful sights of the that? sea, a voice called out to her. Now tell us, listen. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> Where are you from? Surprised at Who the question. That? Luna turned to find the owner of the voice and spotted a handsome man smiling back at her. 
Since she got curious, she called back. Hey, you too. <laughs> I have a name, you know. Who is this man? Do you know who this man is? Maybe he's a fisherman. I don't know. Fisherman? Yeah, a guy that catches fish. Catch, yes. Do you like to eat fish? No. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> All right, let's listen and see what we can learn. Yeah. She giggled. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the man said, a little sheepishly. He say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is your yeah. name again? I think it's rude to ask for someone's name without giving yours first. <laughs> she replied. Hmm, <laughs> sorry. It's just that I've never seen anyone quite as beautiful as you. Wow. Well, that's I am a lie. Son of the sea god. Charmed at the handsome stranger's self-consciousness, Luna relented and said, I am Luna, daughter of the sun god. They spoke for a while, and then a while longer. Uh-oh. And then a while even longer. They As like they parted ways, they agreed to meet again. And again. And again. Their meetings were filled with wonder and excitement. Because There's they came fishies. from different realms, they had so many different things to tell each other. To each other, they became the most interesting people in the world. A moon? And of course, as it's time went by, they fell in love. Oh, they fell in love. Well, yes. he fell in love. Oh, they love each other. He was sure that. Me After meeting with Mar one day, you. Luna. That's me and what? Tyrant too. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're my son. I always yeah. love you. Yeah. You know how you say I love you in in Filipino? Yeah. Say ma ma ha ha kita kita ma ha kita. kita. That means I love you. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. In Filipino. Filipino. Yep. So let's listen to the story. Okay, story. Luna arrived home blissfully ecstatic. One of her nosy cousins noticed and said, You seem happy. <laughs> Why? Who said that? Giddy in the throes of a relationship that was just starting out, Luna replied, <laughs> I kind of have a secret. Promise not to tell anyone but... She's shy. I'm shy? Boy. She even showed her cousin his online profile and their <laughs> selfie together. <laughs> they got a selfie. <laughs> now, envy <laughs> is a powerful yeah. thing. Yeah. In other stories, it started wars and made brothers kill each other. In this story, He's, it made cousins break their promises. Oh no. Because she was envious of Luna's beauty he and her luck. Oh no. Luna wanted her to promise to keep a secret. But her cousin's jealous. So her the cousin's gonna tell the daddy. Daddy? Ooh, you think you think Luna's gonna be in trouble? Yes. Alright, we'll see. Let's listen. Luna's cousin told her father, the son, about the secret meetings. Enraged. The sun locked Luna up in the garden and sent a message to the sea god who was not so happy himself. The sea god locked Mar away in an underwater cave oh no. so he could not go after Luna. He got locked up. Sad and lonely, Luna longed to see Mar again, so she very expertly escaped her flowery prison. But when she got to their meeting place, of course, Mar was not there. He's locked up. He's locked up. From his cave beneath the waves, Mar could see Luna's silhouette in their meeting place. Aww. Aww. He struggled against his restraints and shouted, but it was all in he vain. Up, Dad. Though his he struggle said, caused man. the sea to Dad. rise and the waves to get rough, he could not break free no matter what he did. Mad. And so Luna went home, sadder she's and sad. Sad. Oh. than ever sad. before. Do you, do you know why she's sad? Yeah. Why? That's me sad. But well, why is she sad? Because don't she don't get to spend time with Mar. No. Her boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, will you be sad if you don't get to spend time with the people you love? Would you be sad? Yeah. Would, yeah, I would be sad too. Oh. Yeah, you would be mad. I wouldn't be mad. I'd be sad. Maybe mad too. Mad All right, too. let's see what happens at the end. Yeah. It is said that whenever there is a full moon, 
Luna has somehow been able to escape from her prison. Then she would go to their special meeting place and wait against hope to see her lover again. Whenever she arrives, Mars struggles in his prison once more, trying to break free, but sadly, never able to. Aww. This is why, whenever there is a full moon, the tides rise. A reminder of these star-crossed lovers who can never be together. No matter how pure their love was for each other, Luna and Mar were separated by tradition and rules, which unfortunately still happens to some couples today. And like Luna and Mar, many of these couples try to escape their prisons or at least because fight against story. their shackles yeah, until the tides stories. turn in their favor. So, so what we learn is when there's a full moon, cool. according to this tale, this tale, the sea rises because sea. because the couple can't be together. Yeah. Luna and Mar can't be together because yeah. of traditions. The and it, yeah, and that actually happens in real life. It's yeah. teaching a life lesson. Life is life does life lessons make you smarter? Yes. Yes, a lot smarter. Yeah. We can learn from them, can't we? Yeah. So we've learned right. this the story might the not story? be true, but there's a life lesson to be learned. Yeah. Um sometimes you gotta fight for what you love. Fight love? Yeah. Fight Will love. you always fight for what you love in? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. What else you got to say to them? You can say right. anything you want. You don't know? I know. Okay, you ready to end the video? Yeah. Alright, that was a good video though. Life lesson learned. Um, fight for your love. Sometimes traditions hold you back, but you still gotta keep fighting. And maybe the ocean rises because of it. I don't know. We'll just have to leave that as a question mark. But for now, guess what? What do you want to tell them? I don't know. Why? What else? Comment. So, yes, what else? And subscribe. 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 So like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. and let us know what we should react to next. What next. For now, peace. Peace. Ah, uh, pizza. Uh -huh. <laughs>